I'm Anil Kumar. We are trying to review a few concepts which will be very important as we move forward and take up calculus. In calculus, as you know, finding slope and equation of tangent line is a critical thing. So in this video, we'll find equation of tangent line to circle at the given point. The equation is given in the form x squared plus y squared minus 10x equals to 0. We started with four equations uh, in this series. This is the fourth one and I hope you've understood how to find the equation of tangent line. You can actually pause the video, answer it yourself and then look into my suggestions. So the idea here is first thing is to find the center, right? So the idea is how to find center of circle, right? So that is the first thing. That is the center of circle which we need to find. Some of you can directly find with your knowledge of this equation. The direct answer is of course, uh, let me write down here. Uh, then we'll check with our process. Y value has not been translated, but the X has. And minus of 10 becomes plus 10 and half is 5. So the point is 5, 0. So that is the center. Let us see how to figure it out otherwise. So we do complete the squares to really find this. So I'll rewrite this equation as x squared bringing x terms together. And then we have uh, plus y squared equals to 0. We can complete this square by adding square of half 10, which is 5. So we have 10x. Uh, by adding 5 square, correct? We'll do that on both sides of the equation. Equation is well maintained. We are doing the same thing on both the sides. However, x square minus 10x plus 5 square is a perfect square, which could be written as x minus 5 whole square, right? And we have here y square equals to 5 square. So that becomes a circle with center at 5, 0. Do you see that? As predicted. So 5, 0 is the center. Let me just sketch a circle here with center at 5, 0. That means uh, it is on y-axis. Is that okay? So, so let me just draw this. And uh, radius is 5. Radius is 5, correct? So 5, 0, that means it's kind of like this. Is it okay? Perfect. So you just sketch it on a graph paper. And what we need to do is find tangent at point um, 9, 3. So, so 5, 0. Uh, I'm sorry, this is 0, 5. 5, 0 means the circle will be kind of on the other side. So this is not quite right. Okay. So 5 we translate on the x side. So let me redo this. Okay, so this is incorrect. Okay, sorry for that. I did 0, 5. I did 0, 5. That is not what is required. Anyway, I'll redo it. So again, okay, here it is. We have a circle here. And the center of this circle is at 5, 0. That means x intercept, right? So, and the radius is 5, so it's kind of like this. Yep. Yeah, sorry for that. Anyway, it helps to understand better, right? So we, this point is 5, this is 0. Does it make sense? Okay. And what we need to find is uh, tangent line at 9, 3, right? So this is 5, that would be 10. So 9, of course, will be somewhere there, right? So 9, 3. Tangent line will be kind of like this. Is it okay? Perfect. So I think this is better, right? Uh, so 9, 3, let's say, we'll join this point. Let's call this point as P, and we'll call this point center as C. Perfect. So that is the right thing. This is wrong, incorrect. I did 0, 5. Anyway, let's move forward, right? So how do you find equation of the tangent line? We need to find slope. We already know the point on this line. The point is 9, 3. 
to find slope of tangent line we can find slope of CP so slope CP could be written as uh, MCP correct formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which is 3 and this point is 5 0 so 3 minus 0 divided by 9 minus 5 that gives you 3 over 4 perfect how about slope of tangent line let's call it MT since it is perpendicular it is going to be negative reciprocal is it okay since it is perpendicular right they are at right angles so it is negative reciprocal now equation of tangent line will be y equals to slope which is minus 4 over 3 x plus b to find the value of b we have to use this point x value is 9 y value is 3 so we have 3 equals to minus 4 over 3 times 9 plus b now this can be simplified so we get 3 plus 3 times 4 is 12 equals to b is it okay so what i did was i first cancelled this 3 times 4 is 12 this is negative 12 brought it to the left side becomes positive so the value of b is 15 perfect once you know b you can write the equation of the tangent line substituting b here so we get y equals to minus 4 over 3x b is 15 so plus 15 so that becomes our solution do you see that that becomes our solution this solution is in slope intercept form if you want you can write this in standard form also let's do that multiplying by 3 gives me 3y equals to minus 4x plus 15 I am doing this since that is also a part of learning as you move forward to calculus, right? Bring all the terms to one side, 4x plus 3y, always keep this coefficient positive in standard form, minus 15 equals to 0. You may be required to write your equation of a line in standard form, so that's why we are doing this step in all the videos. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helped. And even a small mistake here helps to learn, right? But you must have seen how in these set of videos, we found center of the circle. We knew a point on the circle that helped us to find the slope. Negative reciprocal gives the slope of the tangent line. Y equals to mx plus b was used to find equation of the tangent line. Well, there's another formula which some of you can use. Uh, let me write it in red. Uh, which is like y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 which can give you answer in standard form straight away perfect so you would use any of these formulas to find equation of the tangent line of course x1 y1 is the given point right i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps if you like you can put some likes feel free to share my videos with your friends and post comments. Thank you and all the best.